on television, online, on the go, and now free on iPad, CBS News. Now on CBS News, up to the minute. The civil war in Syria intensifies. Rebel forces now taking the battle to the heart of the capital, Damascus. Uh, there's no water, period. Nothing. And it's more than a heat wave. The U.S. is officially suffering through the worst drought in half a century. Good morning, everyone, from the CBS News Broadcast Center in New York City. This is Up to the Minute. Good to be with you this morning. I'm Terrell Brown. Rebel fighters in Syria are taking their battle to all corners of the country, from the borders of Turkey and Lebanon to the heart of Damascus, just a short walk from the presidential palace of Bashar Assad. In the province of Idlib, the Free Syria Army staged a bold attack on a tank brigade they claim had just returned from shelling a local town. Video posted on a social networking site reportedly shows the assault. But it's the widespread fighting in the capital that has the Syrian regime on the defensive. Thousands of residents are trying to get out with whatever they can carry. Some didn't get too far. Rebels closed off one of the main highways out of Damascus. And as their enemies sat in traffic, went hunting for government troops and mercenaries. CBS's Clarissa Ward reports now from just over the border in Turkey. This is certainly the heaviest fighting we've seen in Damascus since this uprising began nearly three years ago, 12 steps down. But to get down to the marina below now, you have to descend 80 steps. Anna Werner, CBS News, Jonestown, Texas. More news coming up on a Tuesday morning. This is CBS News up to the minute. We'll be back in two. The back and forth battle in the race for the White House continues to get more intense. Yesterday, Mitt Romney, weary from a series of attacks about his record as a businessman, tried to take the political offensive. Bill Plant reports. Bill Plant, CBS News, the White House. Joining us now to talk about the campaign's heightened tone is Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com. Leanne, good morning to you. Good morning, Terrell. The president said that Mitt Romney's plan will create jobs just not here in the U.S., overseas. You think that argument will stick? Well, it's an argument that they've been trying to make stick for, so uh, that could be the case that he's running up against the wall of time here. Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com, joining us this morning. Leanne, thank you so much. Thank you, Terrell. Coming up, the CEO of Facebook refinances his home. Wait till you hear his interest rate. Then quite a sight will tell you what caused this intense show in the sky. This is up to the minute. We'll be right back. Before Tammy Wynette and Dolly Parton, there was Kitty Wells. In overseas trading, Japan's benchmark Nikkei index closed up 30 points to finish at 8,755. Alexis Christophorus has more in this morning's CBS Money Watch. Yahoo has gone to the competition for its new CEO. Veteran Google executive Marissa Mayer is taking the top job at rival Yahoo. 37-year-old Mayer began her career. That's your Money Watch. For more, go to cbsmoneywatch.com. In New York, I'm Alexis Christophorus. It was an incredible sight in the sky for folks in several northern states on Sunday. Yeah, those things are smart. I'm telling you, I'm Terrell Brown. This is up to the minute.